What's up, folks? Welcome to another episode of Sky Highway Outdoors. Today is January 4th, 2019. The government shutdown continues, and so does my quest for my first batch of the year. What's up, guys? Scott here. Welcome to another episode of Sky Highway Outdoors. This is a continuing saga of me trying to get my first 2019 batch. What's up, guys? I'm still at it. Sky Highway Outdoors here. Again, still trying to get my first 2019 batch. I'm actually out here on Lake Mooney. Nope. I'm out here on the Department of Veterans Affairs lakes. Out here at Curtis Park Lake. What's up, folks? Welcome to another episode of Sky Highway Outdoors. Out here today, today's January 7th. The shutdown continues, and so is my quest for the 2019 bass, the first bass of the year. Uh, today, I'm actually out here on the beautiful Potomac River. Got a bunch of birds flying around out here. Um, Nice day. Temperature's a little chilly. It's about 45 degrees. I think it's only going to be about 48 degrees for a high today. Actually, tomorrow's supposed to be a little warmer, so I mean, I probably should have waited until tomorrow. But uh, right now, the water temperature is sitting at 44 degrees. Uh, I've got about four hours to do some fishing. Uh, like I said, I'm actually here on the Potomac River, but I'm actually not going to go out to the river today. What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go up way up. Uh, for, those, for, the, for those of you guys that are familiar with the Quiet Creek, I'm going to go way up creek to uh, the Quiet Harbor area probably about a good uh, 20 minute ride uh, and unfortunately most of it's all no idle or no uh, no wakes so I got to idle up there but the reason why I'm going up there is because that area of the of the creek is basically just a bunch of deep canals back out there up there and those fish that live there they don't even know that a Potomac River even exists so they spend their whole lives back in those canals out there so they winter back there and they basically just do you know stick to their winter patterns in that area so it's a little bit more of a smaller area to fish and concentrate on instead of trying to go out to the uh, to the main Potomac. Uh, I know there's a bunch of other little winter holes that people go up to, like either Blue Plains or that whole area or a four mile run, which I might try to hit those later on in the year when it gets really, really cold. Uh, plus I'll, I'll launch from that area, which is a little, you know, it's a long run from here. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Like I said, I got about four hours to do it. Uh, again, I still got this quest for this fish and uh, we're gonna see if we can get it done. So. Let's go on out and uh, stand by and we'll do some fishing. All right, guys. Made it back into the canals here after about a good 20 minute, uh, 15, 20 minute run on idle speed all the way back here. Uh, yeah, it's a little difficult running back here. You gotta really know what you're doing because usually in the summertime, there's a bunch of pads kind of lining out the channel. But when there's no pads, you really gotta pay attention to the, uh, to the channel markers and even then, they're not always 100% correct, which I actually kind of got hung up in the mud there for a little bit for about a minute luckily i wasn't going fast obviously but yeah so you got to really uh be careful when you're running back here in the winter time all right guys so i got myself on here a real tiny little rebel r small one inch crankbait this is uh about as finesse as you can go for a crankbait so i got that on my just my uh my, my drop shot rod basically got uh what, 12 pound braid with a um, 8 pound fluorocarbon leader and uh, let's see what we can come up with if I can get it untangled yeah there we go little rebel R Yeah. <laughs> oh, finally, finally, hmm. finally, the first bass of 2019. It's barely a keeper, but it's the first bass of 2019. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys. Off he goes. All right. Wow. 
this is very uh, anticlimactic, but this little tiny little Rebel R got me the first bass of 2019. Wasn't a big one. It wasn't it was barely a keeper. It was a keeper though. So here we go. First bass of 2019. Sweet. <clears throat> All right, fellas. Just finished cranking that little bit of that canal back that way. Probably spent about 20 more minutes back there after I caught that one fish. Nothing else on there. So I'm, I came out to this other arm of the canal. I'm going to go ahead and go back this way for a little while. Maybe about another 30, 40 minutes. Start throwing the, the Texas rig around. So I'm shaking head around. See if I can get anything else on that. So we came out and we accomplished what we needed to do is get that one fish. But I want to go ahead and see if I can get one more. So let's get to it. Stand by. All right, guys, I've been checking the spinner bread around for a little while as well, to no avail. But so far, I've uh, been throwing the Texas rig. I've been throwing the little mini square bill. And now I've just been throwing the square bill, I mean, the uh, spinner bait here for a little bit. Let's see if I can get something here on this moving bait. Um, Going to go ahead and throw the shaky head here for a little bit and see if that does anything. But uh, other than that, it's been uh, pretty quiet, other than that one fish. So, you know the way it goes. It's one of the time fishing. I'm just happy to get that one fish. Let's go ahead now and try to get that, uh, try to try to shake your head for a little bit. All right guys, got to shake your head out here. Let's throw this around for about another 10 more minutes. If that don't work, I'll go back to the uh, little finesse square bill. It's always good to fish these intersections of canals. You can see I'm coming up to a T. Canal going that way, canal going that way. So it's good to fish these two points. Sometimes fish like to hang out in these big in this, in these big corners, like big intersections here. So rather than concentrating on this one and the one back there. Either that or a dead end, which is where I caught that fish. Just gonna fan cast around this whole intersection. Alright guys, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Yeah, four hours of fishing and one little fish to show for it. But you know what? I'm happy because I got the skunk out for the year. And if I did, threw all kinds of stuff, didn't film at all. I had my regular RBT custom square bill, throwing that for a little while, throwing a rattle trap for a little while. Of course, I threw my spinner bait for a little while. Um, what else? I got try to do some finesse stuff, some Texas rigs, some different different types of grubs, uh, green pumpkin, chartreuse. I even threw a white one for a little while just to see if that uh, made any difference. Nothing there. Um, basically. I got stuck. I kind of knew, you know, from reading fishing reports and actually being back here, these little, in the wintertime, these little tiny crankbaits can do some work. Today, it was, it was not, it was yesterday, it was about 50 something degrees. Today, it was the high is only like 42. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be 61 degrees. So the, the weather is just kind of going up and down right now. So the fish are kind of in a funk. Um, but like I said, I'm glad I just got, I'm glad I got this one fish. And, uh, What's good? So we got this kind of got for the year. So we'll go ahead and get all this stuff put away. Head on back to the boat ramp. Do a quick uh, outro. Also, I got to tell you guys about a new challenge that I got going on, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. It's freaking cold out here. 
yeah, as I was saying earlier, uh, the high was supposed to be like 45 degrees today, and I think right now it's only what 39 and it's 4:30. So uh, yeah, I don't think we got nowhere near 45 degrees. Uh, water was a steady 44 degrees. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of a breeze out there. As you saw, I spent most of the day, actually I spent the whole time I was out there in those canals back there, uh, chucking, you know, all kinds of stuff. But the only thing I caught my fish on was that one uh, little, uh, it's a little Rebel Mini R. It's an older lure, actually. That lure is probably probably about 20 years old, believe it or not. Um, so it's a small little uh, square bill crankbait, about an inch long. Um, I'll show it to you. I, you, you guys saw it in the video. But uh, yeah, that's what it was. So just tucked out in the water. I spent four four hours out here and it just froze my butt off. And uh, but I was able to glad and I was glad I was able to get the uh, the skunk out the boat uh, for the year, which is good. So actually, I think it was it. So this is January seventh. Yeah. So I think I actually beat my uh, my record last year. I think I didn't catch the first fish until February, and year before that was probably middle of of January. So I did pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself. It wasn't a giant by any means, but. I went ahead and, uh, and and took the skunk out. I got some crazy looking plane or something coming across out here. A helicopter, whatever. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Also, I wanted to, get, I wanted to uh, bring something up to you guys as well. So you guys all know Bass and Furious. Uh, Ty, one of my good f fishing buddies. I fished the Wednesday night tournaments with him. Uh, he went ahead and challenged me to a 52 week challenge. So what that basically means was we got to try to catch a fish, at least one fish every week for 52 straight weeks. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and I accepted that challenge, but I'm also going to go ahead and, and, and go up one more. I'm going to actually try this year for 2019 to go ahead and actually release a video at least once every week for 52 weeks. So that's going to be my... That's one of those ospreys. That's what they're using to, to, to transport the president's stuff around now. Yeah, pretty interesting basin not too far from here where they launch those out anyway getting back to what i was saying so uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and accept that challenge from ty to try to catch a fish at least one fish every week for 52 52 straight weeks and also i'm also going to one up it and i'm actually going to try to put out a video at least every week for 50, 52 straight weeks that's the only way this challenge is going to grow and i got to get it to i got to get moving on it so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do so Stay tuned, guys. Uh, videos coming out every week. This is video number two of the year. The first one was on Smith Lake. Didn't catch nothing. Here I caught one fish. So, And it was actually within the seven days of the first week. So technically I did catch a fish within the first week of 2019. All right, guys. Also, just want to go ahead and uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for liking and maybe even comments below. Keep on doing that. I really appreciate that. Trying to get this channel to grow. Last year was kind of a slow year for me. I get you know get a chance to, to put as many videos out as I want to, but I promise you 2019 is going to be a better year. So without a doubt, and without further ado, I'm going to get back in the car because I'm getting cold. So this is Scott Hell Outdoors, and that's a wrap.